Because motherfuckers don't really want me to uh, go out there and really do it on that type of level. They don't want that from me. Because then therefore, I'm going to fuck some shit up. I really, I really believe that. And that's what I, um, last night, and a lot of this, I guess, is rolling over to the dream that I had last night. And I came to this generalization. That whereas motherfuckers have been trying to suppress me for the past few years. You can't go over there. You can't do that. You can't do that. Man, I've been having restraints about what it is I can't do. Where I can't go, who I can't talk to, what I can't do, what it is this, what I can't wear for the past four, what, about four years, I've been going through these types of things. And in small little, in small little segments, I'm able to step out and really do Tina. You know, it's like I get this burst of confidence to step out and just say, fuck it. I ain't tripping on what you're talking about. I ain't tripping on what, what all that right there. Nigga, let me put my shit up on, uh, let me put my shit on, nigga, I'm out of here. And I'm going to tell you one uh, instant that, that, that rings clear on when I just did me is that motherfucking day I did that goddamn video and what you call it walked in that door. I'm not going to say no name. But when once her name walked in that motherfucking door and I was like, you want some barbecue, nigga? Oh, no problem. And I was winding it up, and I was doing all this right here. Baby, I was in my element that day. I didn't give two fucks about nothing. When I tell you, I didn't give two fucks about nothing. I was seriously doing me at that point in time. And every time, you know, I get this burst of just doing Tina, I think about that particular instance in that day. And I know a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to really talk about it too tough because it's a key player. But that day... <laughs> Let me tell you something. There was zero fucks to give on that day. I'm just telling you that right the fuck right now. I had had enough, and I was like, you know what? Man, I, uh, I'm not going to talk about that either. Family, I've been going through my share of shit for four years. Okay, and sometimes it comes out in videos, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I'm talking about people, sometimes, uh, you know, the different relationships and the dates and so many different things that, you know, that has transpired, you know, oh my God, these last four years, this, these 40s for me, because I'm 45 now, let's just start off, let's just say the 40s, the 40s, the 40s for me, oh my fucking God, this last five years has been, oh my God. But the thing is, it's giving me so much momentum. It's like I'm getting better, but yet and still I'm still suppressed. It's like I'm, it's, it's like I have this hard shell coat on the outside that's with all of this shit percolating and all these bomb ass ideas and all these things and all this, you know, beautiful stuff to come and stuff to do. And so many different callings upon my life that has been, just been suppressed around, suppressed by the people and the nearest and dearest around me. They ain't been wanting me to do that. They ain't been wanting me. And it's been fucking with my, it's been fucking with me. It's been fucking with my creativity. It's been fucking with my platform. It's been fucking with my content. It's been fucking with my, um, my, uh, uh um, my eating. Okay. And it's like, man, I was, I, y'all, let me tell you what, what one motherfucker, what one motherfucker told me. Okay? No names given. You losing, you done lost too much motherfucking weight. Your face is sunk in. And um, what was I told? Let me just give you, let me, let me just, because this is just on my head right now. Okay? And I've been walking around with this after this motherfucker said it. No names given. Not even no time frame, okay? Just let's just say in these past since in, in my forties, you done lost too much weight. Your face is sunk in, and your shit don't look right. I was like, wow, that's what I was told. That's what I was straight told, and I was like, man. I didn't, I didn't cry or I didn't share now. I didn't shed not one tear. Okay. But I was like, wow. Okay. 
And I have been walking around with that for a long time. And it's like, man, now when I look at my face, I'm like, wow, because it's not my intention. But I realized what that comment was, that was this person's own thing that they dealing with. You know what I mean? And they not want me to really, you know, step into my own light and really enjoy and rejoice in the distance that I've come. So and every time I feel better about, you know, my distance, it's like they're suppressing it down. They have been coming in and out of my life all this time and saying different things and then dip out. Come in and say this and this and this and then dip out. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you yeah you might be this and this and this and this and this. But nah, bitch, you ain't really none of that shit. Take a look at this right here. Oh, well, yeah, you might think you this, this, and this. But pay attention to that bullshit right there. And I've been having this shit coming in and out of my motherfucking life for the past five fucking years. I mean, just coming in, just saying all kinds of shit. That's why now... I've gotten to the point to where, and I got so I got thousands of messages that need to be uh, approved on my platform on, right here on 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 what you call it, because it's like, man, I just complete stop allowing shit to just come on my page anymore because I have been getting so much shit, so much. Oh well, you this this this, but you ain't that. You this this this, but you ain't this. Y'all pray for me. Y'all see what's going on? Do y'all see what the fuck's going on? Okay? You think you this, this, and this, but you ain't that. You this, 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 but you ain't this. Oh, well then, wh why are you going over there? And why are you doing this? You know, why are you doing that? Oh, you can't go over there no more. If you do that, I'm, I'm fucking done with your ass. If you do this, then therefore don't call me no more. Does this, this, man, I've been hearing all kinds of shit for the past five fucking years since my 40s motherfuckers have not been allowing me to shine motherfuckers been you know like i'll take two steps up and then motherfuckers will do something over here to pull me back oh were well, you trying to get too far let me pull your motherfucking ass back let me let you step there for just for a few minutes but then let me pull your motherfucking ass back and that's been going on with me for the past five fucking years okay and I've been going through, and for the past couple of days, well, this, the last couple of days is when I've been coming to the generalization. Like, oh, boy, say, they don't want me to uh, have this. They don't want me to do this and that and this and this. They don't want me to really stand in my life and really stand there for a period of time. No, they want me to be raggedy every day. They want me to come on here and my hair and shit is twisted up and all this whole type of shit. They want me... To not, you know, really dress the part and really put it all out there. They don't want me to do that. They want me to come on this motherfucker. And, but the thing is, I've gotten so comfortable with being raggedy. That's all I know now is to be raggedy most times. So it's like, shit, I trip my own motherfucking self out when I really get dolled up. I'm like, bitch, I don't even know how to do my motherfucking makeup. Let me just go and say that part. I don't know how to do it. Because motherfuckers have been suppressing me for so long. Now nah, you don't need to do that. Now nah, you don't need to wear that. Now nah, you don't need to do this. But from time to time, I get to step out from time to time. <laughs> okay? Not all the time, but from time to time, I get that courage to just step out and just say, fuck it. I ain't done it since the big bone. That was the funnest time because I didn't give a fuck. And I was bigger. I was confident. I didn't give a fuck. You understand me? And it was different times that, you know, I just had to go through character. You know what I mean? When I look back at some of those Sister Big Bone videos, I was like, damn, this woman just was fair. She really didn't give a fuck. And this and this and this. But that was, man, that was the beginning of it. And then the motherfuckers was wanting to suppress that. Nah, you doing too much. Nah, you dancing and singing for nothing? Oh, my God, you too motherfucking happy. What's going on? You ain't this, this, and this. You ain't that, this, and this. Who you think you are? Nah, please. Yeah, you might got a home, but it ain't this, this, and this. Oh, well, yeah, you might got a car, but guess what, bitch? It ain't this, this, and this. Oh, well, yeah, you might have lost some weight, but now you done lost too much. Now you looking this, this, and this. Oh, my God. So... I'm going to cut this video off right here before I start naming names and get to telling motherfuckers about they self on how y'all motherfuckers, yeah, y'all done said all that bullshit, but you know what? I'm just going to use it as a stepping stone. How about that? I'm going to take the high road.
I'm going to vibrate higher. How about that one? I'm just going to vibrate higher. Fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead on and start just doing me. You know, y'all pray me through this thing. Y'all got some ideas. Y'all want to help my motherfucking ass out. Put in on it. Whatever the fuck you want to do. Holler at your motherfucking auntie at one sex and Tina at gmail.com and say, you know what? I want to do your motherfucking makeup. Let me do you a motherfucking what you call it. No problem, man. Get at my motherfucking ass. Let's let, let's do a makeover or whatever. Fuck all this shit because motherfuckers been suppressing my ass for a long time. Been okay and comfortable with me wearing certain things. and Being okay and comfortable with me being raggedy all the time. Y'all don't know what I've been through, okay? But uh, I'm really ready. I've worked a lot. I put in the time. I put in the works. So why not? I'm ready to live now. I'm really ready to truly live full-time, not just part-time or on-call, P-R-E-N, ASME. Fuck all that. I'm really ready to go head on and live now, you know, without any apologies, you know. Uh, my kids are growing up, you know. I've, I've come a long way. Yeah, my shit might not be, you said all this shit about my shit. Yeah, that's fine. It don't matter, though. I got it to do. I got it to take my time for 30 more motherfucking years, or however ever many more years God got for me, to take my time and do this right here. Yeah, it might not be this and this and this, but it's affordable for me. I ain't out here and I ain't struggling to hook and crook and to try to make it. You said all that shit? Yeah. Baby, y'all don't even understand. I done had some motherfuckers say some real, real, real crazy shit to me because of the things that they going through. And I've taken the grunt. You know what I mean? Because I knew that I had to, okay, let me just not, because I could say some things that really hurt their feelings, but I'm not going to do it because I understand that right now they're going through. And people that are hurting attend to, attempt to try to hurt other people. And so I have been, you know, not totally uh, retaliating on a lot of things sometimes. I've been allowing, okay, you know what? Since you tripping, let me hang up. Since you tripping... I'm going to leave or whatever. And I've been taking the high road like that, you know. And then, now, because so many people need need my help for whatever reason or for whatever other cause, hell, I've been pulled somewhere else. So, hell, I done hung up with you after you done said all you said. And then somebody else, girl, let me tell you, I can't believe. Now I got to deal with their issues. And then somebody else, oh, well, girl, they ain't trying to work with me, you know. They're going to go ahead on. They're going to do this right here, and I'm trying my best, and I don't know, and the communication ain't that, man. So I'm going through all kind of scenarios with so many different people that I'm just watching y'all just going through shit, and I'm trying to help everybody, man, and it's in my dreams and, oh, everything. So... One more again, I'm in this cyclone. All this shit is circling around my motherfucking ass. I'm watching all this shit going around my motherfucking ass and I'm being suppressed. You know? And it's like motherfuckers don't really want me to do a whole bunch of things. Want my channel to be this and this and this. Don't want my platform to graduate to the next level. Want me to stay on some old talking shit to people every week. You know, motherfuckers don't want to, you know, see me doing real bigger things. They want me to just stay in this little box right here. I make a lot of people nervous. I, I, it's apparent that I make a lot of motherfuckers nervous. And they ain't really trying to see me on a certain type of level. Because then therefore I think that they feel as though... I will outmatch them or I will take them out of their comfort zone. So then therefore keep me suppressed because of the level that they're on. Because of whatever it is that they're battling. They don't want me to really rejoice. They want me to just kind of, I guess, stay stuck. Or conform. Or take on their energies in which I have been. It is. 1019. I'm going to go outside and get grounded a little bit. Um, my harvest is doing pretty good. I'm in the flowering stages. Um, I look like I had a little um, nitrogen deficiency going. I can tell on some of the leaves. So I give an, I've given an extra doses of that with some um, phosphorus and potassium as well. Um, in the flowering stages, you generally don't 
give any nitrogen. I know I'm on some other shit, but for y'all that understand and know what I'm talking about, and this is what's happening, we're on some additional shit. Uh, California, I hate it, baby, this is how we do it. Um, and I'm cold with my own, you know. I can do what I make it do. So, um, but yeah, so I've been working on that and everything, and I had been so much trying to put out the fires of others that not watching the smoldering at, in my own habitat, you know what I mean? So, um, wow. So yeah, come to find out, I look like I having a little nutrient deficiencies going on. Um, though, um, I just don't want it to affect my yield, you know what I mean? And right now, um, my shit should really be bigger than what they are, and then just not. So, I think I've had some growth stunting going on, um, and so I'm trying to get that back going. So, I've been covering them, I've been doing 12-12s, and, um... So we just gonna see. We're gonna just work it on out. And I do know that it's not a pest. I know it's not that. Um, it looks more of nitrogen deficiency. And you can also have a little bit of the um, yellowing, uh, orange um, specks um, on the leaves as well with the potassium and phosphorus uh, deficiencies as well. So. Um, I've been looking at the leaves top and bottom and I can tell that there's no pest in which I've been um, feeding microbes throughout the whole time. So I know that pest control should be down based on what I'm giving them. Also giving it a lot of black gold, giving them a lot of black gold too. So um, I'm probably talking over y'all head on some of y'all motherfuckers that don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But I just got on my little roll right quick. For those of y'all that know what I'm talking about, because it's a, a, a great deal of you guys are about that life. So y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But also leave me some extra um, tips below um, as to what I may be able to do. If I might need to do some flushing, tell me that. Um, of course, I can't put no pictures or nothing like that, that up. I know people feel a little certain type of way on certain things like that, so I'm not going to do any of that. Um, so I'm trying to give you a visual as to what it is that, um, is going on. Um, but, um, I'm gonna go out there now and, um, go see what's happening with them. Uh, Wendy come on at 11, so I got about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go out here and tend to my crops. Um, my jasmine is beginning to sprout. Um, so it's beginning to, oh my God, it's beginning to smell so beautiful in the backyard right now. Um, my gardenia is beginning to also open and all that stuff. So it's like, man, when I open up my door, it's like I smell an array of different things. It's like, wow. The smells are like, the contact is cold, man. I'm loving it. So, and that's where I feel most comfortable. I feel most comfortable. I don't know if it has a lot to do with me being an earth sign, but I feel really grounded and at peace when I am outside and I'm amongst my, my um, vegetation. If, when I'm out there and I'm dealing with my plants and shit and all that, man, I feel, I feel cool as a motherfucker. I feel, um, uh, I feel like my, my my vibration realm, the colors are vibrant. I feel more balanced. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just my root chakra that is just more more in alignment with that. I don't know, but I love it, and that's where I feel most comfortable. So let me put on my shoes. Um, let me get me one to put up, and. I got 30 minutes to go outside and chill and get my meditation on. Have a talk with my father God. Internalize some things. Continue to grow and accept and look at and dissect some things. And that's what I'm about to do. In the meantime and in between time, y'all keep me in y'all prayers. Y'all see what I'm dealing with. It's not just my things. It's the, so many things and so many different others that... I'm just taking on, and y'all motherfuckers are stressing me out. Y'all motherfuckers are stressing me out, for real. So, but I, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna complete makeover. I wanna put some clothes on, but I wanna put some clothes on and be, you know, dolled up and grown up regularly, 
you know. Y'all see how my eyebrows turned out? They're completely healed. I go back for like a little touch up, you know, for them for her to touch them up. But this is what it is. Um, I probably need to, you know, probably shave them a little bit to, you know, the hair that probably grew around or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what they looking like, but this was a really cool ass experience. You guys know I don't grow that much hair in. At first, it was really, really dark because it had scabbed over. and But now the scabs are all gone now. So it's now starting to still heal up a little bit. It's not sore anymore, nor is it tender, really. So, I don't know what it looks like, you know. But, you know, I have this breakout here. And, um. And then, too, I could be in my feelings, too, because my period is coming, getting ready to come on. So that could be another thing. Could be retrograde. Could be my menses. Besides everything else and everybody else's shit. Um, and plus my own. How about that? So on that note, let me go outside and get grounded a little bit um, before Wendy come on. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome day. Keep me in your prayers. Um, comment below. Um, I am going to have to start, I, I wish I could just, but then I got to go through every motherfucking message and then, because I'm not going to put that bullshit, I'm not going to put that energy on my page, you know, um, but I am going to, I need to go through and, you know, uh, cause you guys have left some really, really cool messages, especially on Auntie Fee's, uh, video. So, um, I need to, um, uh, approve those messages and whatnot. So. Let me go. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Bye.